Yani. No ball. No ball to start proceedings. Not the start Fabian Allen would have wanted. Oh boy, oh boy, that would mean there's a free hit straight up. Oh, that's not an old wall. Well, well, well. Fires. Hammered through the covers. Just a hint of width. Got him. He just keeps picking up wickets. So Shane Thomas. That was a real hike from Avishka Fernando. This was sensible bowling. I haven't really seen him let go a short pitch delivery yet. He's been fuller and straighter. And uh, this one just genuine pace. And uh, Four. just slightly on the pad. He's got a tickle on it. First boundary to need for everyone. You want to bat. You can score runs. If you can play shots like that, you will get runs. That's a wonderful shot from Shayan Jai Surya. Nice shot. Nicely timed. Over to go. Quite where he wanted, but he'll take it. Evening, Samuel. Yeah, that's the area there. That is the area that he's going to target. And that's why you say it's not easy bowling to a left-handed batsman. because can... There he goes. But finds the man in the deep. And that's a good catch. It's a very good catch diving forward. Some of the fielding in this uh, last couple of games has been top-notch. The first wicket uh, for Fabian Allen. I just felt that they decided to take him on, Jaya Surya. Was the matchup maybe that they were looking for? Not connected in the middle of the bat, the two end. So it doesn't carry over the boundary, just falls into that man's hands, Rockman Powell. And look at the relation for the young man. And gone, first ball. Very loose outside the off stump, needed to find the gap, couldn't. Fabian Allen with his second. Back to back wickets uh, uh, for Fabian Allen. The Kusal Pereira, the dangerous Kusal Pereira, the man this time, given some width outside off stump, but not controlling it, not hitting it down. And Lindell Simmons, well, he's not going to mess with those. He, and away he goes. Celebration time from the man from Jamaica. Just helped on his way, just using the pace that was there. That's handy, very handy. He's just been given a little bit of a working over in the last. That'll race away. That'll go uh, pretty quickly. Not even the big man can get any pick in those conditions as well. Oh, just enough elevation, just enough power, plenty of gap on the leg side at mid-wicket. They needed that Sri Lanka just to take a little bit of. But the offside gets tighter. Clipped away on the onside, finds the fieldsman. DJ Bravo gets a wicket of a full toss. Well, Kusal Mendes will regret it. That was a gift. Completely missed it. Down the throat of the man at backward square leg. Looked like a slower delivery. And uh, didn't really put a whole lot into this, just flicked it away probably say to himself I timed it too well straight down the throat of Powell and uh, wicket for Dwayne Bravo Matthews wants a single again now that hits the stumps did he get back well, the umpire would want to go upstairs that's exactly what he's doing well there's no excitement from the West Indies so you'd have to reckon that he got he made his ground. Angelo doesn't look too perturbed. Oh my. 
That is out. Got back in so easily. Seemed to be moving so casually back into his crease. I thought he was home by a mile. But he's out by an inch. Well, dude, this is why I always think that direct hits are very dangerous. Pick up. That's going to be four of them. Don't try setting a field for that. Good Yorker. Chipped in the air. That's going to be an easy one. Hitmeyer hardly moved. Oh yes, a massive blow. Hasaranga walks. Wickets uh, keep falling here at Palakele. Not what Sri Lanka needed. Nushalan Kotral. This time Asaranga, he's tried that shot before. Managed to get a six this time. Straight down the throat uh, of Sherman at Maya. Yeah, look at the disappointment on that young man's face. But look at the elation here. Military send-off. Become so used to that. Four. Nicely played. Cottrell not happy. He thought O'Shane Thomas could have got across from short finally. Pit though. Yes, he can. He goes for it. One bounce for four. Again, it was a miss hit. It was off the bottom of the back. Down the ground he goes. Four. What a hit. Even Bravo did well to get out of the way. And in Pakistan. Yes, this are Pereira. He got the ball he wanted, and that's the first save. Oh, I'm at that all along the ground. Good start to the over. Another low full toss uh, from... Full toss again, he's got that. He's got a good piece of that. 150 up. Pereira waits. Pereira swings. Hits the gap, but he's not got a lot of power behind it. So it will be two off the last ball. It's been a good effort. West Indies will be happy after putting the Sri Lankans in. 155 for six is what Sri Lanka have. Well, they'll have to believe that they have the runs on the board. Last three overs, 39. They really did need that because they slowed up in those middle overs with wickets falling. Just the five bowlers used today execution a lot better from the West Indies they would have won, wanted to finish stronger than that a lot of those 39 runs came from low full tosses they haven't used the pitch as much as they may have liked slow balls into the pitch gripping they opted for the full balls no, I won't get away with that just going for that Yorker first ball He was pretty good with the new ball. In the early overs in the first game, he was very accurate and very effective. It needs to be the same again. Now, still hasn't qu quite got it right, and he'll pay the penalty this time. He's had a couple of wives, he's been on the pads, and he's being punished. That is just hammered. It is good intent, much better today, I'd say, from the West. And on the odd occasion, they're going to pay the price as well. Matthews with an early wicket, they needed that. And that's a danger with Angelo Matthews, that change of pace varies his pace a lot. And this one was a slow delivery. Simmons was into it way too early. And uh, Matthew strikes. Flipped away. That uh, will go for four. Found the gap crucially. Hit powerfully into the ground and enough elevation. Hit very, very hard from Brandon King. Because again, just will not let 
The Sri Lankan bowl has settled. What a shot that is. Powered down the ground. West Indies in complete control for now. Is the chant. Malinga gets the edge, but it flies for four. A slow delivery from. He's hit that. Hit that well. He's hit that well enough. 50 is up for the West Indies. 37. Goes again, gets it again. That's back to back sixes, consecutive sixes. Marlinga feeling the. He's hammered. Flat. One bounce. So the last three balls, very, very expensive for the Sri Lankans. Oh, that's up and under. Does Marlinga want it? Does he take it? Yes, he does. For a moment, a bit of confusion, who was going for it? But it had to be Malinga. It was too close to him. And I listen to the home crowd. Listen to that support. Listen to that noise. A real joy for the fans who turned out here. The homeboy, Kumara, while he picks up his first real good aggressive short ball, good pace in the 140s. And then Brandon King, no control. And in the end, Lasit Malinga takes a comfortable catch, he looks relieved. And so would all of Sri Lanka. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That hit him before he knew it. Seventy for two. Bit of aggression from the Sri Lankans, Lairu Kumara, a wonderful first over, wicket and two runs. Gee, straight in. He's not got a strap on. What a first delivery to get. Just walked out to the crease and look at that, bang on target. You just felt that that's the last second. When it got so big on him, he was just panicking. For he looked awkward, but he knew what he was doing, Powell. Let the ball go past him and hit the back. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> First boundary. Swings it away on the onside. He gets a boundary. And the hundreds up for the West Indies. He just been waiting for length. Oh, that's big. And taken. Oh, oh, he's taken it. Outstanding. That is a brilliant catch. Outstanding catch. But he needed to get rid of it before he touched the boundary. And then he's gotten rid of it now. And to be honest with you, Roshan, I'd give him the benefit of the doubt here. Yep, because there is no real movement of the boards either, Dooch, if you look at it. The soft signal is also out, so it has to be conclusive to overturn it. It is not, so I think 10 out of 10 to this catch to Shehan Jasuri. I told you that he was fielding brilliantly, and he's just confirmed it for the simply magnificent catch. And uh, that is the end of Powell. Brilliant catch, and there, here the roll. This is it high. It's going to fall safe, and it does. One bounce for four. Bounce for four. <laughs> My word, this ball has gone a mile in the air, and over long on. Just over. Last ball of the over. Short delivery. And where has that gone? That six as well. Andre Russell. Phoenix is... 
Oh, my goodness. My goodness. That has just disappeared into the darkness. Three. But it doesn't matter where you put them. Because Andre Russell, he is in the mood. <laughs> Two. Yorker. But Russell's just hit that into the crowd. Second six of the over. Six. That's the game. Six sixers to Andre Russell. He gets to 40. And the West Indies. They take the series 2-0. They got seven wickets in hand and plenty of balls to do it. And what a return to international T20s for this man. Andre Russell, he's been out of the team for quite some time. 2018 was when he last represented the West Indies. Uh, so he felt a bit nervous in the first game is what he said, but he's demonstrated his value to this team Came out and smashed six sixes unbeaten 40 of only 14 deliveries the West Indies win by seven wickets with three overs to spare Now Andre Russell's 40 is the lowest score by a batsman to contain six sixes. That's 36 runs for you there Some powerful blows this West Indian team looking good.